I just posted this short form video. Let's check it out. So I need to create a quick product ad, but I'm gonna let my system do that for me. First, I'll take a product image, something quick and simple right here to show you, something just like that. Probably can't see it too well. You'll see it in a second. I'm gonna load this into the system. And once that is loaded up, we can watch it run down this chain. So it's gonna upload everything and run into Nano Banana. So Nano Banana is gonna take the product image and it's also gonna take an image of one of my AI influencers and combine the two into one image to process in the ad video later on. So while we're waiting on Nano Banana, we can talk about that. I'll jump over to my Airtable base. You can see this is the influencer I'm using for this video right here. And this is the direction for the actual product ad. So Nano Banana is going to generate that image of her holding that product. Then it'll get sent down to BO3 to actually generate the product ad. Let's go ahead and wait for that. There we go. Product ad has finished and it's automatically sent down the chain to post to my social media channels. In this case, I'm posting automatically to Instagram so we can check out my Instagram account. This is a brand new account where I'll be showcasing all of this automated demo work. You guys can check it out, but here is our new video. Let's watch it. You guys, I am obsessed with this new Noshinku Eucalyptus hand sanitizer. It smells incredible and doesn't dry out my hands like others do. You have to try it. Cool, you get the idea. Pretty powerful to Right, so you get the idea. I just wanted to showcase that a little bit more, go into it a little bit deeper and show you what I have going on in this workflow. So basically we have an Airtable trigger followed by a singular linear progression through the chains to post to Instagram. So let's jump over to my Airtable base first. Okay, not much going on in this Airtable base. This is actually just a demo base that I've been using to kind of illustrate a bunch of different things in a bunch of different ways. In this case now, it is my media pass through for my influencers for these demo videos on the short forms that I'm doing there. So this is the influencer from that video, generated that image. I think I used a combination of Flux and Nano Banana to get that image and then just loaded it up into my Airtable base here. This is the prompt I used to generate that image, okay? This is the prompt right here. And this is the same prompt that I'm using to generate the ad video for her to be holding the product in that short form video. So. Pretty simple prompt, pretty simple Airtable base to power this. So that is where that stuff is coming from right here. So we're gonna move down the chains. Now this switch node is simply to switch out another route I'm gonna be building later on. Different types of short form videos I'll be creating for different types of AI generated ads or demonstrations. This will be part of a much bigger system, but I'm building it from scratch to show you guys a little bit about this kind of stuff. Now. Side note, if you're interested in this overall, this is just a very small section. This automation is a very small section of what you can learn in my seven day automation bootcamp. All right, if you wanna join the community, I take you step by step through seven days of learning to build your entire content management system. All right, you'll be able to organize and manage your content, generate your AI content, generate your AI images, AI videos, and automatically post them to all of your social media accounts on a specific schedule that you set. So I show you step by step every day, seven days, how to build that entire system. If you wanted to check that out, you can check my links in the description of this video. So this automation is just one small section of what you can learn in that seven day automation bootcamp. And that is the image generation and the video generation using VO3 right here. So let's get into that. So I'm building out this small section from scratch from the seven day automation bootcamp. And that's why I have these eventual branching chains. We're gonna be building a little bit more of that system out from scratch again. So we're going down this product marketing chain right here. That's gonna switch out into the product marketing chain. And this node is just gonna pass in some of the values. So the file and the file name. Okay, that is actually the product image, all right? The Airtable trigger is taking in that product image that I'm sending it. So if you wanna check that out, simple pass through section right here. I don't even know what's in here. It's kind of a mess. All I'm doing is triggering with an image file. So that is loaded in. So anytime a new record is created and an image file is dropped in there, it's going to trigger this automation chain right here. Okay, I even have a agent in this field right here that's coming up with a unique name, kind of random, 
didn't really put much thought into it. It's just coming up with a unique file name and that is where I'm getting that name right here. So we're passing that random file name. The reason I'm adding that random file name there is so we can upload it to Supabase. Supabase is gonna host all of those images temporarily getting that image URL so we can pass it on down, send it to Nano Banana and keep moving down the automation chain. So as we're going through, we're gonna download that image from Airtable so we can upload it into Supabase right here. Okay, using Supabase, definitely something to get into. If you haven't started using Supabase yet in your automations, highly recommend that. Again, I teach all that stuff. If you want to learn more from me, you can check that out. So after we upload that to Supabase, we're then going to get a record. We're gonna get that AI influencer image and prompt right here. So that's just gonna call back to this table and we'll get this image and this prompt. We're essentially getting this whole record. Now, eventually you'll be able to load this out with all of your influencers, you know, whoever you have in here to advertise your products or make announcements or do whatever you want, whatever kind of videos you wanna make. This is where you can load out your database with all of your influencers and all of their special video direction, right? In this particular case, I'm using Haley. Haley's image, and this is the video direction for Haley's videos. Same thing, adding more influencers, you would add their specific video direction for whatever type of video they're making, or you want that particular influencer style to be advertising or speaking about. Cool, so we're getting Haley from here, downloading the product image, downloading it from Superbase, again, pulling it back into the automation just so we can have that URL. We need that URL to come from a hosted site that is not Google or Dropbox. We can't have a Google or Dropbox URL. Going into Nano Banana, it just won't work. You also can't have a Google or Dropbox URL going into Instagram. The Instagram API, the Meta API does not accept those URLs. So we need to host images, host videos on other platforms to get that URL. And so in this case, I'm using Supabase, which is by far the best option in anything that you're doing when trying to get URLs. Okay, so we're downloading we're getting that URL from Superbase, passing it on to Nano Banana. Nano Banana is gonna combine the product image and Haley's image together to get a single image that will then pass on to VO3 to generate the product ad. All right, again, the direction for the video is in the prompt. So we're already getting that in the chain right here, passing it through and getting that prompt into VO3. You can see it link up right here Here's the get record Airtable node, getting the prompt and the image URL coming from Nano Banana right there. Cool, we get that video from Bill 3 and upload it to Blotato. This is an incredible tool. If you haven't jumped on the Blotato train, definitely check it out. I teach everything about it in the seven day automation bootcamp. This will upload to all of your social media, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, all of those things you want to be posting to. And it is incredibly easy to use. Highly, highly recommend it. Sabrina Robinov, who is the founder of Blotato, is an awesome person and she is killing it with this tool. So I definitely recommend using Blotato here. It's by far the easiest if you wanna do any work automating to Instagram Instagram, Facebook using Meta. Meta is a pain to get through. So definitely save yourself some trouble. I'll put the link for Blotato in the description of this video. So I'm uploading to Blotato and then sending that upload to Instagram. Blotato is gonna do that work for me. That is gonna upload that automatically from the time I upload the product image. It'll automatically trigger. This workflow will grab Haley put everything together and generate the ad using Haley. Then post it straight to Instagram. So that is a little bit deeper dive into this workflow here. Just as a side note, using weight nodes here, it's gonna be the best route. I think, you know, people always approach me with, well, why don't you add a loop right here? If you don't know how to build these types of automations, what's happening right here? Nano Banana is generating the image. So we have to wait for that image generation to complete. Well, I've got a wait node, pretty simple. We're just waiting a set amount of time. And then after that wait period, this wait node, we're getting the image. It's very simple. Alternatively, you can add a very complex polling loop, meaning you can call back to the API every few seconds, every few seconds to check if the generation is done. And once it comes back as done, then it will continue on. That is 
overcomplicated. It's very complex. Once you set it up, it works really well, but it's definitely not necessary. If you just wait a set amount of time, in this case, I'm waiting two minutes. I've done enough generations with Nano Banana and it doesn't take two minutes. So I just wait two minutes and make sure that generation is finished and that is fine, right? A lot of people will get stuck on trying to build these very complex systems to make sure everything is coming through neatly and tightly. But if you're just building this automation that needs to run and consistently output without precision, okay, you don't need all of that complication added into your workflow, you can just wait. All right, same thing after VO generation, it's gonna wait five minutes just to make sure the video has completed, then it'll go ahead and grab that video. All right, that is why I'm using wait notes there. It's by far the simplest and I think more elegant than trying to do very complex polling loops. Though if you wanted to check out how to do polling loops and batch looping and all kinds of functions with loops, definitely jump into my community. I teach you how to do that stuff as well. But in this case, that is overkill. Cool, so again, this is a very small section of what you can learn in seven days going through my seven day automation bootcamp. Day four is when we start automating to social media. Day five, you're actually building your first AI agents. Okay, this entire course is for absolute beginners absolute beginners to learn exactly what you need to know to be automating all of your content. You're building your entire content management system from scratch. It's pretty amazing. So day five, you're building your first AI agent. Day six, you're doing AI image generation with automation. And day seven, you're doing AI video generation with automation. Okay, definitely check out the course. If you are a beginner, this is for you. I'll put the link in the description of this video. Check back for more automations just like this, guys. I look forward to seeing you in the group and I'll see you in the next video.